there's been a lot of coverage of people doing wrong at the Capitol last week. But it's also so important to recognize the people who did right. The New York Times reported on Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman, who is being called a hero for intentionally leading an angry mob away from the Senate floor. So many people have been sharing that photo and this video showing Officer Goodman putting his own life on the line by physically leading the mob into the opposite direction of the floor. Following the footage going viral, Officer Goodman's quick thinking was praise all over social media. Like Pennsylvania Senator Sharif Street, who tweeted, Officer Goodman's judgment and quick thinking saved the lives of senators and quite literally an institution of democracy itself. Ladies, what are your thoughts about seeing that footage? I was scared for him, but I was also yeah. feeling like he's a hero in this. I mean, can you imagine Absolutely. how scared he must have been for a mob coming at him? I don't believe he had a gun. I think he had a baton and maybe mace or something like that. But the fact that he was there, you know, to protect the Senate, you know, everybody in there. And at the same time, there wasn't enough manpower for himself, but he stood strong. And I love that image of him holding back the mob. What do you guys uh, think? You know what? He definitely deserves the Medal of Valor, which is the highest medal yes. given to a public servant. So I, I'm pretty sure um, he, he will be receiving that. And it's funny because when people first saw it, they were like, he's running from the people. He was no hero. It's like, you know what? This why, what I tell y'all about video, Y'all have to get the story. Don't just yes. judge by what you see. Get the story, and then right. you can make your assessment. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, Officer Goodman. And, and I hope he gets his Medal of Valor. He does. He deserves it. Yes, absolutely. I agree. And I like that you brought up perspective too, Lonnie, with camera. Thank God we had some type of cell phone capturing of his work. Think about people yes. that actually cleaned up the mess that was left all over Capitol Ugh. Hill, including, I mean, the things feces. that were nasty, guys. Things that like, like, exactly, smeared on yep. the walls. Who's doing that? And healthcare workers that then have to take care know. of anybody who had, who got sick from all of the maskless rioters. I mean, it's incredible how many people came together. So even though we did get a lot of footage of people that did wrong, there's so many heroes that did right. Yep. Yeah. That and you know so what? There true. are a lot of people that work in the Capitol and the White House um, when, well, back in the Obama administration when I used to go. Let me tell you, those people <laughs> love this country. They work yes. hard. And it doesn't matter who the president is. It does not matter. They serve whoever is in office. And there's some wonderful people. That's why I always tell people, you know, if you get a chance to go to the Capitol, if you get a chance to go to the White House, take a tour. You will meet some wonderful people that just love this country and they want to represent this country well. This is another example of that. I, agree. I have to say, I agree. it definitely takes courage to have one of these jobs, one of these positions. Um, just keeping it real, I, I might have ran the other way. I might have been the person running okay. if this was me. <laughs> because it's a scary situation. And I think in this case, yes. specifically, not only was there a mass riot happening, but guys, he also was a black man and there were people running with Confederate flags. Right. So that's like a double whammy on top of, oh my gosh, I'm placing myself in the midst of danger and I have to step up and actually be helpful in this situation. And on top of that, I'm a black man and these people are running with Confederate flags. What does that mean? And how much more fear does that bring to the situation? So I really have to say, it is wildly courageous to have a position like this. And I applaud those that put their lives on the line. Yeah, there were yeah. which is why I was commending him for too. keeping it nonviolent. Because while you would run away, Adrian, I would be running at them with my anger management issues. I would have that exactly. baton, yeah. like Karate Kid. I would be going crazy right. on people, and he kept it. It just so shows chill what happens and when you're calm. You keep yeah, calm. Yeah, when mine. And he, yes. so when you just keep calm. When you take That's your it. job seriously too. Remember the Parkland shootings. There was a school yes. shooting where one of the officers was outside the building. He didn't want to go in. I mean, that's the opposite of this. This man, regardless of how scared he was, he knew he had a job and he took it seriously and he did what he was supposed to wow. do. So that is a yes, real sacrifice. Eugene Goodman. Good job. Great example for Great us all. Job. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, something else that people are talking about over on the internet is Miss Lori Harvey <laughs> and Michael B. Jordan, who basically. <laughs> 
broke the internet this week after they went yes. public with their relationship on the gram. And the news got everybody talking about the best way to land themselves on Michael B. Jordan. For example, Sean Garrett <laughs> tweeted, y'all want Sierra's prayer or Lori's finesse? Sean is, of course, referring, if you guys know, Sierra's prayer for a good man that she says led her to her current husband, Russell Wilson. So, ladies, what would you say in response to Sean's question? Which, which would you rather? It's no need to compare to women. You know, it's, I, I just feel like we don't need to compare and say which one is best. I think everybody is living their best life, and I like Lori Harvey's life, baby. <laughs> I <laughs> she is so tell you. I do. She's not a baby you hear mama. For the she's not messy. I'm, she's not. She's. I mean, and I'm here for Sierra too. But I'm saying is that she is keeping herself in control. You don't see her put, putting stuff on Instagram about you know after she done broke up or uh, you know. And we don't know what the situation is. We see pictures. This is like you know, but we don't know like if she dated him, if she was having sex. You really don't know. You was we assuming a lot of things here. Here again is that perception, Jeannie, that we always assuming stuff. We really don't know what's going on. We see some pictures and we assume, but I like I like what she do. I like how she handling her business. That's me. We really don't I know. If Lori was doing a Sierra prayer, that's the more important part. That's what we don't know. We don't know right? if she's that's landed right. herself in this place now with Michael B. Jordan because she was out here doing a Sierra prayer. So I agree with Lonnie in the sense, I hate it when they're constantly pinning women up against each other. Everyone's journey is going to be different. My journey is different than Garcelle's, is different than Jeannie's, different than Lonnie's. Everyone's journey is going to be different. I believe that if you out here saying a prayer, your prayer should be that God gives you what you need and what's for you and that his will be done. You know what I mean? So I feel like in everyone's yeah. life, it's going to be a different situation. Everyone's journey is going to be different. And Lori is on her journey. Definitely. You know what I think uh, is the reason why think? this relationship is so attractive? Not just... Lori and Michael. Sure, Michael's like people's sexiest man, whatever. I'm not even talking about that. But Lori's timeline of dating, the reason why it's so attractive, y'all, is actually the, the, most, the most unmentioned thing, which is it's unproblematic. Lori can date so many figures yes. that we know, and we don't see leftover text messages of what went wrong. Yeah. We don't see yes. long rants and captions of what coulda, woulda, shoulda. We don't see any no one friends tearing her <gasps> apart. So the thing for me, honestly, that's crazy, that actually should bring everybody back to reality, I think, is having mature relationships where you can multi-date as many times as you want, but everybody doesn't need well, to know your business, especially right. when it goes well, she's wrong. A young... And so I think what, right. what it is, is it's refreshing. It's refreshing to know the people that are dating, but to not know what went wrong, what happened, who messed around with who, why are you unhappy? Like, how did we it don't know start? We just... How did it end? We don't know. Yes, and I yeah. think that that's refreshing, you know? And I applaud that. That's very mature, especially for a young woman. And you have to speak to the men, too. None of the men kind of left tracks dragging her, you know, um, after their experience yeah. dating with dating her. So you have to imagine there was sure. some respect towards her yeah, because no messy it was an unproblematic journey. That part, which is all we see nowadays, Adrian. We know people's yeah. relationships because of the drama that we get brought into from reading about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Garcelle, what you think about all of this? Um, I think, I don't think they're comparing the two ladies. I think they're comparing in the way, in the manner that they've done it. I think Sierra, you know what? I've written a prayer. I've written many letters and, you know, in terms of like the man that I'm looking for. And I think that works. I also think that Lori is young and she's dating. And yes, she's dating high profile, you know, that. people and she's having a lot of fun. And I do agree with you, Jeannie, that it's not messy. We don't hear a lot of things. But I think, honey, her potato salad must be made out of gold because they are flocking for it <laughs> all the time. Hey, <laughs> I think, hey, I think she is having she a, a great time. She's beautiful. And that's what, that's what life is about. When we talk about, because we can always, I just say um, uh-huh, go ahead. Can I just say this? Also, I feel like the fact that Michael B. Jordan has chosen a beautiful black woman, I think is a great thing, because I know he got a lot of flack a few years ago when he was on a yacht in Italy, and there were he was surrounded by, you know, other beautiful um, women of, you know, of white, white women. And I remember he got a lot of backlash <laughs> for that, and he was like, there aren't any black women in, uh, in Italy. And so it's really wonderful to see that 
he's with a pretty black girl and they're having fun and I think good for them. Yeah. But like I said, we don't know who he been dating otherwise. Sometimes people keep stuff under wraps, so... You know, um, we got to get to this next story. 22 year old Mia Ponsetto, otherwise known as Soho Karen, was recently arrested and charged with allegedly attacking a black teen at a New York hotel after she wrongly accused him of stealing her phone. Since the incident, Mia has been accused of racial profiling a teenager, but in an interview with the CBS This Morning's Gail King, taped a day before her arrest, Mia says that's not possible. Listen why she says it's not possible. I wasn't racial profiling whatsoever. I'm a woman, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm like a woman of color. I'm, I'm Italian, Greek, Puerto Rican. You keep saying you're Puerto Rican. Does that mean that you can't be racist because you're saying you're a woman of color? Is that what you mean? Exactly. What do you think G of Jesus. her defense? I, I think that she is not in my community. I am not in community with this woman. Ah. I just want to put that out there. I'm speaking are on behalf of the Latino community. You're we the are revoking, revoking the Borica card. I I do not want no parts. Like, guys, it's it's actually it's sh shameful. It's like embarrassing. Like I can't even like I watch this and I literally am like. This is so mortifying on so much. Like when she said out of her mouth, I'm Puerto Rican, me and my mother look at each other like, no, not one of us. <laughs> but I will say this. I will say this. Um, she is absolutely incorrect. That is the biggest lie. Just because you are a person of color, just because you are Puerto Rican. Right. I, I think she said I'm like a person of color. That in itself is you're like a person of color. Are you a person of color or are you not? You're like one? That's a whole other conversation, but this woman is just so wrong. I love it when Jeannie said all skin folk ain't kin folk. This, these are the yeah. facts. And, and on that note, you can absolutely be racist even to your own yes. kind. Your makeup does not determine whether or not you are completely, you know, enabled to be racist towards other people. You know and how many self-hating people just about, I'm gonna go ahead and lump this in what I'm saying too. Do not tell me that you also have black friends or that you also have gay friends hate or that I've dated black men before in order to prove right. that you're not racist. That doesn't mean anything and that actually shows all. how ignorant you are when it comes to just de being discriminatory towards somebody else, prejudging somebody else. Any of these yeah. biases that you have can be racist and you can still have those friends. Woman, you jumped on this young teenager in public. You Terrible. publicly defaced him. You told er to everybody that he was a liar. You didn't even bother to check your phone. The iPhone comes, because I'm an iPhone owner, it comes with the Find My iPhone app. And you didn't even want to use it in order to prove first where the phone was before you blamed this young man. So yes, that was absolutely prejudiced and that was absolutely 20 seconds. Exact, no, I'm good. They said everything I would say. All right. Something ain't right with this note. girl. Something ain't right. I'm just putting it out there now. Something ain't right and with this And you do not lady. disrespect Gail King that way, sis. Ever. That was well, terrible. She's Ever. Been arrested. Ever. Yes, Hollywood Unlocked recently reposted a tweet by Peter Frieda that really tested Reader's willpower, okay? He said, no sex for two years and you get 700 million. Can you do it? So ladies, I'm gonna ask you the question. You know, do you think you can do it? Would you be down to give up romance for riches? 700 million dollars. What are the yeah. parameters? Yeah, the you didn't say parameters. romance, you said sex. Wait, you didn't say and, romance, you said sex. sex. And yep. you said two yep. different things. You said give up sex and you said pass up romance. Cause those are two different things. Yeah, no, sex. Well, I think sex. they're referring okay. to, we're just saying sex, like sex. Okay. No yes. sexual Wham, interaction, yes. no masturbation. I can do it. Dang. For seven hundred million dollars. She plays a tough bargain. I can do it. God, Adrian. After my divorce, after my divorce, I didn't have sex for a long time and I didn't make a dime. Yes, I could do it. Absolutely. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Seven hundred million dollars. How long was a long time? I I'll tell you later. <laughs> but a long, long time. <laughs> oh wow. Time. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll be the first to admit. Count me in. Okay, so I went abstinent when I when I got saved when I when I started um, to follow my Jesus, and that was four years, okay. and I had no problem doing it. But money is also not a focal point in my life. You know what I mean? Like I I'm not money driven. Happiness and all those things those are great for me. So I wouldn't be like I, it wouldn't make me proud to be now rich to That's say crazy. that I gave up something. You know what I'm saying? So I would say yeah, no. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I don't, I don't want the need money for that 700 reason. mil. 
I don't need $700 million, but the question is just what it is. It's just for fun. I don't think it's something that has to be so deep. Like, would you give up well, sex for $700 million? Garcetta, I don't, have you had me? I only know how to take it deep. What? <laughs> I don't need $700 million, but baby, what right. I could do with $700 million? Not right. just for myself, for my family, for the people I love. Like, we, we exactly. set for life. Like, I, that's amazing. So you amazing. would take it and give up the sex. So, exactly. Miss Scorpio. And the, the way, the Scorpio. way my prayer life would go so hard, me and Iz's prayer life would go so hard. Oh. Yes or no? Oh. I actually think somewhere or another, I, we could do this. I don't know how. Oh I don't know how, <laughs> but I think we could do it. When I tell you me and that you man guys. will be on our knees praying to, to Papa Dios, we're going to be there like, baby sweet <laughs> Jesus, Papa help Dios. us. Yo, it's going to be we hard, are eight but seconds. I would certainly we try. We are eight seconds into the promise for you, and this is how hard I it is try. already for you to express your accepting the baby. challenge. So I, don't, I wouldn't put that on you. I would hold All on to the is, Lord's hand. Y'all talking about y'all don't y'all do don't need it? 700 million. I need 700 million. I would take it. I would go travel. <laughs> I, I would do we all kinds of things. I would try. give it to charities. Yes, I would family. I would make Me a foundation. Too. I would do all kinds yes. of stuff. Yes. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm being no, real, but I'm that's unrealistic. Mm -mm. 700 million dollars. Who giving away 700 million dollars? Nobody. So we having sex. Ladies, grab your cosmos because Sex and the City is officially coming back. That's right. HBO Max announced this week that the mm. iconic show will return for 10 episodes. However, star Sarah Jessica Parker did confirm on Instagram that Kim Cattrall, who played Samantha, would not be part of the show. Now, when asked if it was because of rumored tension between the two, Sarah said, and I quote, no, I, I don't dislike her. I, I never said that. Ne never would. She will always <laughs> Why be you a gotta part of us, it? no matter where we <laughs> like are that. or what we do. <laughs> That's what That's she right. said. So, ladies, are you expected? To, are you excited to catch up with Carrie, or yes, are you yes, sad yes, about yes, Samantha? Yes, yes, yes. What? Let's talk. I loved I'm so this excited. show. I loved everything about My it. Favorite. New York City was a character in this movie. I love like yes. Manola Blahnik, and I love the Cosmos that they used to have. And I was, can I tell you, I was really bummed when I found out that they didn't have the friendship that I wanted them to have in my head off camera. Um, <laughs> I felt like as a fan, I didn't want to know that they didn't like each other because I really bought into the whole thing. So Don't I'm say excited they. to be back. And I'm going to say this right now, I am throwing my hat in the ring to play Samantha. There you have it. Ooh. 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 I did tell my mom. I, I literally just that. told my mom, I said, that would be so dope. If you know they added someone to the mix, a person of color, I think that would be. But you can't very do that nice. right Bring now because you ain't missing no more episodes. Sorry. Shut up, so. Marty. Shut up. <laughs> I can do wait, it after the wait, show. You guys, ain't going nowhere Let's keep it right real. now. <laughs> Let's keep it real. When you watch this show and you think about your own friendships in your twenties which I think they were like in their 20s and their 30s when the show started. And now they're like in their 40s and 50s. Um, guys, be realistic. In your group of girlfriends, somebody may have fallen. No, somebody's going to fall out. Somebody's not going to be there mm. maybe 20 years later. That's true. So I think that this That's is true. very realistic. Um, I'm interested to see how they write Samantha out. Is she staying back in L.A. with Jared Smith? Like, I'm just so curious as to... Uh, what happens with the character. And while I am so sad because Samantha was my favorite character, she didn't want to do it. So it's like, girl, you was low-key holding us back from a whole new series. So right? vaya con Dios. Blessings to her. I'm happy for her. Yes. And Garcelle, yes. they didn't all have beef. The other three have said that they actually have had a great relationship throughout all these years. They have. It was just yeah, her that has said she had issues. Yeah. So. Yeah. What know? was the issues, Listen. much? Do you know? Do you know she what, what was the issue? She never would really say. She said her issue was specifically yeah. with Sarah Jessica Parker, but she never said what oh. those no, issues but, were. Do you remember, mm. though, I think I, Kim, Kim Cattrall had someone in her family pass away, and Sarah Jessica Parker did a, said a tweet about, I'm sorry for your loss, and Kim Cattrall and came back Kim with, oh, back. you're sorry for my loss? Like, I don't even want to hear that from you. That's how bad things went. It's wow. crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But let me tell you, my kids would play baseball against um, against Mr. Big's uh, kids, his son. Oh my gosh! And let me tell you, yeah. every time he came on the baseball field, I'd be like, 
Oh my God, that's Mr. Biggs. You know he's oh married God. to a black woman. <laughs> <laughs>